And we're back to Mass Effect 3. Dark and Ran, now hopefully Hello. recovered from the pain that was Operation Paladin. Mm. I mean, it could have gone a lot worse. Could have gone a lot better. Anyway. Yeah. Back. See, we've had our time to recover. Yeah. Now back to trying to drag this galaxy kicking and screaming to its own salvation. Yep. Uh, shit. We'll get there someday. Shit. S plot. Shit. Shit and shit. And politics. There's always politics. Okay, so let's take care of the stuff over here. Ooh. It's over in Batarian space. What could we possibly have over there? I could possibly go wrong. Not fucking here, that's for sure. Over there. The one place that's not a hundred percent. Yeah, it'd be that way. Uh, game, there we go. Did not want to work for some reason. What's down here? We found the governor. I suppose he has his uses. Yeah, probably, maybe. Hold on. Hopefully. Yeah, that'd be. And here. Boing. Allied forces updated. Praetorian Special Intervention Unit. Allied victory attack on Kamala. That's good. Yay! How did Some that... progress. <laughs> How did that go? Is it in here? Nope. Oh no, it's in a tertiary codex. No. A feeling when Mass Effect needs three separate codecs. Well, codex I think I, well, I think this distance. one is uh, mostly mod added. Yeah, I, I guess, but still. Uh, maybe it's not here. Maybe it's in the regular journal. Oh, it's here. I'm fucking retarded. So yeah, order of battle, friendly assets, the Alliance First Fleet, full fleet with two dreadnoughts. 18 cruisers, a carrier, and frigates. And the Normandy and the Batarian fleet with four cruisers and f four cruisers, seven cruisers, so a handful of cruisers. Some frigates and modified civilian vessels, along with ground assets. Losses approximately 8% killed in action and missing in action. Only uh, from the Batarian fleet. That sounds so right. That's actually extremely low losses. Yeah. Enemy assets. Yeah, one that's like fifty percent for the batarians. Well, you know. yeah. Reaper fleet. Because. One sovereign class, eight destroyer class, and fifteen non-sentient processors, and a bunch of fighters. Losses. And just sixty-five percent confirmed killed. Four destroyers, the sovereign class, and twelve of the factory ships. The sovereign class alone will ha will make that more than worth it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's the big boy. Mm -hmm. And that is a lot of text that I'm not going to read right now. I understand that. But I'm going to assume the gist of it was beat down their front door and then use the Normandy to sneak in the back door. So the usual. Yeah. Which kind of disappoints me because my favorite tactic is beat down the front door. But I'm in a stealth ship. Stealth. That just means I didn't I raise the alarm. Right? What? I also made you play a techie. Hush. Stealth. It's still stealth if nobody's alive to sound the alarm, right? Sure. It's just called Russian stealth. <laughs> All right. 
What a dear sorry broken this time. Ah, that's bright. Maybe they broke on a sorry. Uh, I believe there's a film about that. It's called Vanya. Something about a. Uh, uh, I don't know. If you if you romance the Yara as a female shepherd, I know Joker makes a asks if, if you're going to reenact some scenes about from it. Okay then. So I think you can guess what it's about. Thanks. <laughs> Basically, I think it's, I think it's like a sorry porn film or some shit. Listen, I've played this game a few times with both shepherds. Hmm. Javik he might have some stuff to say here. I don't know, actually. Perhaps. On the other hand, hmm. Who do you think? Well, the best option is not here, so I guess Javik. <laughs> we'll get Tally eventually. We better. Take five battle suit. She ditched a sniper rifle for the moment. Or. Hello there. Oops, I meant to modify that. Oh well. Derp. Derp, it is derp, yes, derp. very much derp. All right, what did they break? Pick up any information on the mission, Lyra? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. What would the commandos hold us? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. You know, I've always found it funny that uh, someone in the Bioware office thought, uh, hey, let's take this all-female race and make give them a, a submutation that's literally just sex vampires. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. Yeah, it is. That's why High Command won't rest until someone the place Someone in the office had a weird they kink. They risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Yeah. I mean, have you Don't seen those body suits? Maybe the Ardat Yakshi <laughs> sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. I mean, to be fair, you can't see it well with this outfit, but, uh, ass. Yeah. It is kind of what I was referring to. Alright, first priority is look for loot. Of course. I see loot. Second priority is loot. Elevator disabled to prevent entry or escape. And then we might actually worry about saving lives. <laughs> Spooky. Scary skeletons. That sound. Gotta love I am not apologizing. Gotta love sounds like that. Yeah, not ominous whatsoever. Uh, game? Oh, 
Listen, okay. Commander, Sh Commander Shepard need not heed silly things like physics. Okay, can I climb up the other one and maybe reset myself? What about physics, really? Just a figment of our imagination. Uh, who's blocking? Liara, why must you body block me? Now the game's really fucking confused. Well, Tali's not in the way anymore, so maybe she really wants some. <laughs> you know, this is actually a lot creepier because it cut my light off. Like, yo. Oh, the, the bug bit? Yeah, because you, know, you notice how I, my, I had my flashlight on for a minute there? Yeah. Just Students are not allowed to visit each other's quarters or to meet in rooms unsupervised by staff. Students are also forbidden from extranet communication without approval by senior staff members. There are no exceptions to these rules. First, the offenders will have their free time revoked for a month. Further violations will be met with confinement. Our monastery is our shelter. For it to remain that way, we must make sacrifices. If we do this, I have faith we can continue to enjoy the order and peace this place has given us. They're, they're literally locked up, isolated from the, literally the entire galaxy. Stay yeah. For a good reason, mind you, but... Still. Yeah. Oof. Speaking of which... <laughs> Don't think she managed to think leave it. She either forgot or they didn't have the time. I heard something. That was my fault, sorry. Stop bumping into shit. Yeah. Of course, the funny, the funny thing about about the whole situation, or sad part about the whole situation, is they're isolated. But the problem is that they're isolating a bunch of extra horny teenagers. So yeah, well, it's not gonna go over well. I can't see wait, shit. Does that make this place horny? Yet? God damn it! I should have seen that coming. Yes, you really can't shoot that. It would seem the Asari commandos fell silent because the Reapers were here to greet them. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want without our Yakshi? What do you think the Reapers want without the with our Yakshi? The nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. The commandos decided to purge this place. Are that Yashi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Well, we clearly know there's something alive because it keeps, keeps screeching. Oh, hey, I got my flashlight back. Congrats. Hmm, big open area. Let's just go ahead and, uh, there they are. Make sure you have your ammo set. Ooh, warp ammo for everybody. Nice. Sounds useful. Uh, gives more da weapon damage and damage to uh, barriers and armor. Yeah, I would say it was pretty useful. Especially since Reapers use barriers and shields and armor! Yay! Hello? Anybody there? <laughs> Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara! It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. 
Two of my daughters live here, and I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already invested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Arda Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Valer and Rila have followed the Monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. She forsook, forsook everything when she took her just to Karos. But she won't forget her daughters. First. They're pretty, they're pretty much the reason why she took the hair just to get out. No, pretty much. It very much are the reason why. Yeah. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait. Let's go. <coughs> Hello. My name is Tashia Pori. I'm wounded. Bad. Give this to my bondmate, Weshra. Asked her to go to the Citadel and tell Weshra I love her. Tell her. The letter that nobody ever wants to get. <laughs> An isolated fortress. The other Yoxi must have believed they were safe from the war. If they knew about it at all. They learned. Right. Time for the fight. Yeah. A new enemy. A new enemy indeed. Okay, motherfucker. Let me introduce you to a friend of mine. Delete. Go to accept a banshee. Gee, I wonder how I got that name. Is it maybe because it screams? Who's next? I thought they all just rush for the bodies. They're predictable. That used to be a person. An Asari. What have the Reapers done? Well, obviously, Reaperified. Yeah. as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? I mean, do you have to ask? Interesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. 
The Asari thought the Ardayaki were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardak Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Valer. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Valer? I'm sorry. Valer! You know, why can't we do that with biotics? The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. Save so much time. Very much so. Anything over here? Besides an addiction to cover? <coughs> You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. I mean, do we really need oh, a crowbar? Oh. I mean, I've got, I've, I've got explosives. Yeah, like... You have all of that. No, you cannot open it without a crowbar. I think they figured it out. Thank. Oh, well, well, what have we here? Hey, buddy. Hello, you. That's she. Yeah, that's how that problem, right? Until I started using the uh, that Venom shotgun, this was easily my favorite shotgun in the whole game. Hmm. Get off the cover, you moron! There's loot to be nope. had. Sweet loot. Weapon wrench. Good rabbits! Shredder mod. High oh, caliber. Oh, yeah, believe that this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't need it. And look at that recharge speed. Mm. Can you tell that the disciple was made for Asari? <laughs> yeah, good point. <coughs> Very lightweight shotgun, huh? Yep. I've looked over this year's candidates for supervised visits to Thessia. I'm improving everyone but Yanis. She's impulsive, cunning, and worst of all, a romantic. Find me a worse combination of that outside our walls. I find it suspicious she was even nominated. Let's look into that and pray it's not Yanis manipulating another infatuation. It takes a great deal of time and effort to persuade Thessia's government to let our best students visit their own home world. Unless Yanis matures, she won't be among them. Sun tells me she's not going to be among them anyway. Yeah. Jethor, I had the new girl put in a holding chamber. The Jestikar who brought her to us, Jestikar Fora, said she had trouble convincing the prisoner coming to the monastery was necessary. This may explain why the girl lashed out at her guards. She's lucky Fora wasn't here for that. The Jestikar's code would have demanded an execution. I'll question some other Jestikars on the level of coercion Fora is permitted to use by the code. This isn't the first time her captures arrived here terrified out of their wits but it will certainly be the last. Well, it certainly was. Yeah. Not for good reason, though. Yeah. All right. I see you. I see you. So we're playing that game, are we?
Why am I not using biotic? Good question. Why aren't you using some health defense? Who's down? Leara's down. Of course she's down. Now please mod me. Thanks. Ow! Felt that. Nope. That looked pretty painful. Shields are back up. You can see. Dead. I can see. I can fight! I'm sorry. I, mean, I am actually going to apologize for that one. I actually don't recognize that one for some reason. Uh, pay the old buttons. God, I don't remember that at all. I think it was when they went, like, to me, like, uh, how I was coming again. Got him. Uh, uh, King Arthur or something, Arthurian legends and all of that, but it turns out he was, he had eye problems, hmm. so Timmy gave him his father's lenses, glasses, hmm. whatever. <laughs> Whenever he put the glasses on, he'd go from being like, Tiny little guy weaker than Timmy to being just like massive human with a main kind of deal. Huh. Okay then. Another so strong being able to see. The Asari should have rid themselves of the other Yokshi. By rid themselves, you mean kill. My people would never let such monsters walk among them. They didn't care for the competition. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think Oof. Liara has a. Uh... Lost her uh, wonder of the Protheans. You think? I mean, being side to side with one of them is quite enlightening. Especially In when they are. Of ways. Especially when they are absolutely nothing like what you thought they were. Yeah. This totally isn't a boss room. Oh, belly. Hey, level up. Okay. Oh, hey. Level up. Level up. If I could reach you to, to whack you, I would. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Rila? Rila, can you hear me? Have it, just do, do you mind? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. I don't think that's Liara. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Totally <laughs> not the boss bomb. Just about nothing, really. <laughs> Would you kindly stop doing that? I hate it. Yeah, come on, something. Oh, Oof. Oh, this is the end. What? 
Completely unaware one was coming up behind me. Oof. Yeah, they have a one-hit kill, as you might have noticed. No oh, shit. Well, at least both of them are coming up the middle this time. Bing! Shut up. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of in a way since I've gotten to face it. That's a wall. That is pain. It really fits. That too. Where's the other one? I'm getting away from that. Shields are back up. Load. Oh, panic mode. Panic mode. Indeed. Just finish dying already. Ugh. Like how they just yeah, left her lying though. there. Indeed. Filaire, go. Take the elevator. Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go. Go, 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 go. Okay, we're leaving. No! Rila! I love you. Rila! Here's it all. Why can't, why can't we just use that shoulder mounted gun? Because it's not in the base game. That's the, uh, that's, that's, the, that's the armor of a multiplayer class. The cannon is one of its abilities. Those are some of the matches. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. <coughs> Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Alea. The code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valeo. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so much stronger. Stupid suicide denied. Let <laughs> go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. 
home, no matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait, now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Valer, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine. Does she actually join your forces, or is she just another war asset? War asset. Uh, fucking course. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. That's a good indicator. Yeah. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Ardat Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on Vidcar. Oh boy, systems lost. A friendly oh. reminder that this is oh, a hey, war. Funding. <laughs> a friendly reminder that this is a war and we're fucking losing. Alright, what does Anderson got for us? Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm. Yeah. Be? <laughs> of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Faith. That any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Okay, I guess we're going down to engineering. So I hear the elusive man drinks bourbon. It all makes sense now. What do you mean? Look with me. Hey, Scotch, my dear girl. That scunner drinks American bourbon completely different. He's a psychotic mental maniac, and you've got problems with his choice of liquor. You've obviously never experienced the peat aroma of 
of a fine Eli scorch. Okay. Man, good news on it. the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Dee Dee and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. Do it. My eye. Well done, everyone. Cool. Yeah. My board is green. My board is green. Okay, she doesn't have anything. Does Javik have anything? Javik is not here. Huh. Where is Javik? Oh, he is upstairs with Garrus. Let's see what they're going on about, yeah? Oh my. Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. It wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densori. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Jah. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditika preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. <laughs> Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. Well then, let's hope we end ours quickly. Yeah. I would have never guessed. Oh boy. Ash wants to meet at the memorial. Garrus wants to take a break at the Citadel. The Yard wants to take a break at the Citadel. That is the counselor saying, uh. Go to the Citadel? No, no. That's, no she's, <laughs> she's, that's, that's just her letter saying, yeah, I sent those, uh, commandos to N7. Uh, yeah. Shiala, the uh, sorry commando that the giant plant in the first game spat out. Oh uh, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if you've seen the articles, but the people of Zeus Hope are fighting again. This time it's the Reapers instead of the Geth. I'm not sure if you remember me, but you helped me back on Ilium. The Thorian is dead now, I can confirm that. But the spores in our bodies remain, and on some level we are still connected. This is not necessarily a bad thing. As we fight back the Reapers, we feel each other, and act with one mind, ignoring pain when the need arises. I'm sure I'm still indoctrinated. I remember Sovereign's voice in my mind when I went willingly to the Thorian as its thrall. But my connection to the people of Zoo's hope is stronger. It drowns out the Reaper voices. The situation is imperfect and dangerous. Perhaps the colonists should separate for their own safety. But with one mind, the untrained fight with the skill of veteran commandos. Our force is strong. I have not forgotten how you helped us, how you spared me. We are leaving Pharaoh soon, and when the time comes, we will fight with you. Nice. More forces. Yep. Gr uh, Grace Sato. Uh, she's someone we rescued during a side mission. Captain Emmaus. She's the uh, Asari Commando squad that uh, would have gone to that monastery if we didn't go. Uh, yeah. Miranda wants to meet at the Citadel. Javik <laughs> wants to meet at the Citadel. <laughs> Commander, I find this messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. 
I assumed Specialist Trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel the next time we travel there. In my lifetime, it had been captured by the Reapers. If you would like to join me, I will be in the area where the embassies are located. I believe this concept of a galactic control shared among races is a lie. No, 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 it's... Oh boy, you see, what a... Surprise there. Let's see, Alliance News article talking about, uh... Pharos, actually. The colonists kicking the Reaper's ass. Alliance Command, HCR Thanix Cannons. Alliance rep Command reports that Thanix Cannons are being installed on ships destined for the front lines. Races are pooling resources to ensure as many ships are possible are given the new weapons, which are proven effective when used against the larger ships of the enemy. Groups of four or five ships are best arrayed against individual Reapers to ensure enemy ships are forced to prioritize their line of sight weapons and engage across a wide arc. This gives individual time, individual ships time to target weak points, including limbs, joints, and the exposed central weapon system. Casualties should be expected, however this tactic may maximizes the possibility of delivering a crippling strike before the Reaper is able to bear on all ships. Implications Individual Reapers can be taken down with lower casualties among attacking ships than was experienced during the initial days of the war enabling deployment of Alliance and Council vessels to more regions. Early reports also show these tactics are effective in slowing the Reaper's advance by inhibiting enemy movement and their ability to reinforce at will. While Reaper forces still dominate the battlefield, their ability to move freely has been compromised and are forced to consolidate into large groups, therefore slowing their advance. <laughs> Further reading. M4 Sherman vs. Tiger Tank in the Journal of Military History. He's literally referencing World War II to fight the Reapers. I mean, hey. And that's basically. One never changes, right? Yeah, and that's basically how uh, Sherman's fought Tigers since they couldn't take him head on. Was to split up and. and Sure, you're going to lose a couple tanks, but one of them's going to get a shot on its weak points. <laughs> and this is saying. Uh, the Citadel DLC is open, but we're going to save that for later. Alright, so let's get the fuck out of here. How long has this been going? You know, we're about out of fuel. And you should probably fix that. Mm, details. And me guess, we're going to the Citadel. Uh, I mean, there's a fuel station there. Yeah, well, so. Hey, I want to go to the Citadel. Hey, I want to go to the Citadel. Hey, let's go to the Citadel. Topped up. But that is a yeah, thing to do. At a later date. Next time. Yes. So I guess we'll see you there. Bye. Goodbye.